In this section, we will see how atoms differ. How are the atoms different from each other? In the example here of elements being different, we have the element bromine. If you notice, it has a few things. It has a number here. It's got something else here, something else here, and something else there. What do these things mean? Well, the first number on top gives you the famous atomic number. This atomic number, when the element is on the neutral state, it also represents the number of protons, which is positive charge. And since the element is in the neutral state, it also represents the number of electrons. That is, when the element is in the neutral state. The very second line in this box is the name of the element. The third item on this box is the symbol. So far, we're filling up all this information. And the last item on the box is the atomic mass. All this information is given to me in almost every table. The setup might vary a little bit as far as the mass number and the atomic number. However, the setup contains most times this basic information. Also, from this chart, I could get the number of neutrons. The neutrons are found in the nucleus along with the protons, and they have no charge. How do I find the neutrons? Well, neutrons is simply the mass number or the atomic mass, same thing, minus the atomic number. Therefore, like I said just now, the mass number minus the atomic number or the atomic mass minus the atomic number gives me the number of neutrons. So neutrons is mass number or atomic mass minus atomic number. So this little box tells you everything there is to know about the element. Everything from the name, the symbol, the mass, neutrons, electrons, protons, and all this when the element is in a neutral state. Neutral state meaning that it has the same number of electrons and same number of protons. Positives and negatives are the same. That's why the elements in this table format are said to be stable because the positives and the negatives are of equal amount. I hope this helps you out.